this video is to explain the um, concept of the private and the public fixtures available in HCMC. Um, let's start with the public fixtures. If we uh, place a couple of sketches just to demonstrate what's going on, so we'll scrap those. Let's say we create a, a contour operation around this one here. And we'll do another contour operation over this on this other one here. Now, um, with that, if we've got these uh, these two contour operations here and here, and I like to make them inside just so I can sort of see see what happens. Um, if I create if I don't do any fixture assignment here and I generate the G code, then the default fixture, the uh, being G54 coordinate system, would be used. And there it is, G54, and um, it'll go off and, and general G code for that one coordinate system. Now if I'd like to repeat that and, um, and make these two machine operations on two separate vices on the same um, machine, I can go ahead and create uh, a couple of fixtures uh, in here. And so I've done that twice, so uh, G54 and G55. And again, if I um, generate the G code there, I'll end up with two sets of G code one at each of the two um, coordinate systems. So G54 and off it goes. And there we are, G55 and, and then there it goes again. So we've repeated it. Now that's what we'd describe as two public uh, fixtures. And public in that um, all of the machine operations that are down here that don't have their own private fixture settings will, will be repeated for each public fixture that's in this global area. Now if we want to um, we want one of these machine operations to uh, be done on a particular um, separate fixture, but just this one operation. We can uh, click, right click on that operation here, right click, move down, hit the add fixture, and it'll let assign a new fixture down here. So, um, so now the, the the two global fixtures G54 and G55 will be applied to this contour, the bottom one, but they will not be applied to this contour one because it's got its own private sketch. So really, you should see two two sets of G code um, for the bottom contour and one set of G code for the top one. So let's just have a quick look there. So we'll generate the G code on that, and uh, there we go. So now so we've got G fifty six, which is the the um, the private one is uh, going first. G fifty four is the other one, and G fifty five is the other one repeated again. So there you go. So that's a concept of uh, that one there is a what we call a private fixture. So this machine operations G code will only ever be produced for this one private fi fixture. It, it this one won't be repeated for these two public fixtures. Now um, the other thing you can do is if we'd like, let's say we want both of these um, fixtures to use the private ones, we can add another fixture here and it'll add a, a G57. If we want the G56 and uh, for the private fixtures for both of these to be the same, we can select the G57 one, update it to be G56, and then you can see that now I click on that, it's actually the same object that it's um, selecting them both at the same time. So any rotation values you have in there will be applied the same for both. And there you go. So we should just end up with uh, G56, there it is, G56 there, um, and that's it for the operation. So um, anyway, there you go. That's a, a bit of an introduction to the, the concept of the public and private uh, fixtures.